Good morning, beautiful people. Today we're out in Vancouver and I'm gonna have some lunch at one of the vegan spots here in Van City. It's called Lotus Seed Vegan. So I'm just gonna be crossing the street. We're gonna go there, pick up our lunch, and I'll show you guys what I'm having. So stay tuned. Thank you. Thank you. Just got myself some coffee to start with. It smells delicious. It's nice and smoky. I'm gonna try a little bit just to see. Oh, nice. That's really good. It's dark, smoky, like really has a dark uh, taste to it. And then that sweetness comes in. Mm. Although it's sweet, but then the aftertaste of it still um, gives you like a bitterness, but it's not too strong bitterness. It's more of like a smoky uh, taste to it, which is nice. And look at this coffee guys, like it looks, creamy like you see what i mean it's like uh, cloudy because they don't use regular cream they just use i think more uh nut based right so because it's vegan and it even gives that nice texture to it too and you know it's, it's good for a change to try uh, food that are more like uh, natural for example as in vegetable or or bean uh, based it gives our body a break because our body is able to digest it uh, easier, right? That, and also a lot of people, for example, might have their uh, dietary needs, right? Like I knew a friend who uh, couldn't have uh, any dairy. Like it used to bug him, and, and you know how he used to have like stomach problems, like a lot of gas and bloating. So you know, if he, for example, wanted to have uh, coffee just have to have it black with sugar, but maybe sometimes you want to have it with a little bit of a cream to give it a little bit of uh, a different texture and taste to it, right? And now the good thing is there are things available like cashew milk, like they have coconut milk, almond milk, soy milk. And there was one brother that I knew, he actually had uh, uh, basically, I guess to some extent, like he couldn't eat gluten. I don't know if we can say gluten, um, allergy or not but he same thing like he it would actually bug his stomach quite a bit to have gluten and uh, here you know it's gluten free which is you know good thing uh, to have thank you very much sorry which one sunny buffet sunny buffet yeah sunny buffet ah wow okay so let's check this out this is called the sunny buffet sandwich it sure brings a smile to my face that's for sure <laughs> okay so we got a nice baguette ah thank you so they're actually making i remember last time when i came by here uh the brother was mentioning that they're going to be making some uh, products that they can let me see if i can get some good light lighting um that they, they can sell so now as you can see it's not focusing properly that's their uh, okay let's see there we go so sunny pate lotus seed they're going to be selling these in stores that's what they're using so it is it has protein fiber uh, high in omega-3 six three and six high in calcium and potassium uh, it's gluten-free non-gmo no added sugar and no cholesterol look at that beautiful love the packaging Okay, so let's take a look and see what we have in our uh, sandwich. So as you can see, lots of uh, fresh veggies. They have the paste on top. 
And then I think they have a little bit of more sauce or cheese, uh, vegan cheese at the bottom. Especially for me nowadays, guys, I've, over the years, I've gained a lot of weight. I think this is the heaviest that I've ever been in my life. I don't want to tell you guys how heavy I am <laughs> because I feel embarrassed, but I'm working on cutting it down. So nowadays, I've been actually getting a little bit more exercise at the new place. And by exercise, I mean walking, actually, uh, because I get to work from home. And, uh, you know, that's a little bit tough for me to get any exercise that, or any kind of uh, physical activities. So now I'm adding around maybe you know, three to four kilometers um, walking, which is nice, so around half an hour to 45 minutes a day. And inshallah soon, once the gyms and stuff open, I'm going to be starting to go to the gym, but they say 75% is actually diet. It's not working out. So if you want to cut weight, if you want to, for example, gain weight, or if you want to build muscle, 75% of the work comes from the diet. So for example, if we eat more healthy options, that's going to help us gain weight. If we want to gain weight, for example, having more protein, and if we want to lose weight, we have to cut all that, you know, for example, sugar, fatty stuff, breads and pastas, things that uh, are going to basically, our body can break down uh, if we don't get the activity and then just basically turns it into fat. So this, I think, is a really, really nice sandwich. Let's dissect it. So that's the paste. It smells good. And then they have fresh veggies, carrot, tomatoes, lettuce. And on the other side, let's take a look at the other side. The other side, I think it's maybe like a vegan cheese. really good it reminds me of kind of like pesto I'm just trying to see what are the ingredients oh ingredients are sunflower seeds organic tofu celery leek sunflower oil organic tamarind lemon juice natural yeast sea salt black pepper kelp and citric acid Wow this is magic. Wow. You know, this is a veggie sandwich, but I'll have it any day over a meat sandwich for sure. Hmm. Wow, when you look at it, you wouldn't think that it uh, has a lot of like uh, power to it or punch to it, but ooh, guys, this is delicious. All right, guys, look at this beauty. Let me see if I can show you guys. So this is an omelet which is a vegan omelet. Let me turn it so you can see how it's basically built like a flower. You see the avocados on top, some fresh veggies, all natural, no meat, no eggs, and it's meat with this. So this is basically a vegan egg uh, replacement or substitute. And I'll read you guys the ingredients and you'll see how clean and natural um, it is. So where's the ingredient list? Oh, right here. So it has water, mung bean, hemp seed, sunflower oil, uh, agar agar, mushroom extract, sea salt, turmeric, paprika, yeast, lemon juice. That's it. And look how beautiful of an omelet you can make from it. I was just talking to the brother and he was mentioning that there isn't anything like this in Canada. They have it in States, but not in Canada. Look at that. 
just so I can show you guys. Looks exactly like egg. When you make the omelette, you get that crispiness on the, on the uh, egg. Wow. That's crazy. It tastes exactly like egg. Wow. And the cool thing is that there's no chemicals. So even when you eat it, it's natural. Like you're not gonna feel bloated. You're not gonna feel like, you know, sleepy. You're not gonna feel tired. The, your body's gonna actually thank you for it. Like, look at this. That's not egg, guys. That's mung beans with a lot of other natural, beautiful ingredients. Can't go wrong. Mm. Wow. Oh. You know, the part that I first ate was the edges. The edges was a little bit crispier. So although it tasted like eggs, it, it, the one that was in the middle, which was softer, that has like a, this part has, oh my goodness, it's like a explosion of flavors. Oh. You gotta check this out, guys. I'm going to put the address. You guys need to come there on Broadway, really close to uh, Canby. It's called Lotus Seed. You can get the paste. You can use it uh, for pasta, uh, soup, salad dressing. You can make sushi with it. Here we go, okay? Or you can just put it on your sandwich. Done. Egg substitute. You wanna have vegan eggs for breakfast here you go you're welcome really really good ingredients guys this right now is 650 really really good prices because they make them and they package them themselves so they're not going to be charging you double the prices like if you were to let's go to some you know superstore or walmart or some other place because they make it themselves they don't want to charge you an arm and a leg 650 for this whole bottle this $8.99. You're not going to be using this whole thing for one meal. This probably will give you three, four, if not more meals. You can use them for different things, not only on your sandwich. So this is $8.99. Can't go wrong with this, guys. Cannot go wrong. Wow. Actually, this is $7.99. <gasps> Even cheaper. Wow. The other cool thing is, check this out. What they do is they take this egg substitute as well as the paste and they make this little cool little uh, pastries so i guess in those um, uh, muffin makers for the oven they put a little bit of the egg substitute and a little bit of the paste on top and boom you're done 